at this moment that he knew. When you're learning to fly, your instructor is going to teach you a whole lot of different maneuvers. Now, having been a pilot for 10 years, I've learned there's a lot of maneuvers that instructors just aren't teaching and they need to be. Sure, your instructor is going to teach you how to do a short field landing and how to do a soft field landing, but there's no one teaching you how to do a dry field departure or a long field landing. There's people who are teaching how to take off over a 50-foot obstacle, which is great. No instructor is teaching people how to take off under a 50-foot obstacle. Point is, there's squishy fields, there's dry fields, wet fields, there's all kinds of fields, and they're only teaching specific scenarios. I want to talk about a specific landing today that nobody's teaching, and that's the shitty field landing. Now, the shitty field, first off, we're bleeping that word because I only allow cussing on this uh, channel uh, when I feel my life is in danger. Full aileron. Holy Just Holy the shitty field landing is basically a landing anytime you're going into an airport that has a runway uh, that's questionable. Maybe it's paved, maybe it's not paved, maybe there's fod or rocks or children or something all over the runway that you're going to hit when you land. Basically, it's anytime you land and there's a 50-50 shot, you're going to need a new set of tires before you can get out of there. The number one indicator that you're about to do this particular type of landing is when you announce that you're inbound to the field and this happens. Lakeview traffic, Mitch, 720, Papa is three miles to the west, going to overfly midfield, turn to the left, downwind for 1 8, right, Lakeview. And traffic inbound to Lakeview, what's the uh, condition of the runway down there? I've only been there once before, it was, uh, it was it's not great. Alrighty, appreciate it, thank you. Other pilots in the area know that you're about to have to do this sort of landing because they've been there before and they want to make sure that you're aware of how bad the conditions are. Anyway, I want to talk a little bit about this type of landing and what to do as you approach the airport and how you do your downwind, your base, and your final legs. So let's hop in the plane and take a flight. Northwest traffic, can you set 420, Papa's departing runway 17, we'll be departing to the northeast, northwest traffic. Now, in order to illustrate this maneuver, I decided I would go check out two local airports that I know required this exact type of landing in order to get in. Um, that's Lakeview uh, on the edge of Lake Louisville in North Texas, and then another one called Air Park Dallas over on the east side of our Bravo. As you know, most landings begin when you're on the beginning of an instrument approach or when you enter the downwind leg. Uh, this particular landing maneuver begins with what I call a series of unfortunate radio calls. Now, there's nothing wrong with the radio calls. It's just that these radio calls come with a certain obvious resignation in your voice that's really impossible to hide. And you don't necessarily want to hide it. Um, it's good for people to know when they hear it that, you know, we're praying for this guy. So well, let me show you how this works. And like you traffic, unfortunately, it looks like uh, Comanche 2 your pop is inbound for 1-8. Uh, obviously going to be a full stop. I can't imagine using the plane again after landing on that uh, runway of yours. To be honest with you, when I was going into this airport, I don't know if it's 1-6 or if it's 1-8 or if it's 1-4. I'm sure if I opened the ADF, it would probably just say the active. It, it just doesn't matter. You're coming in from the north or the south, or it really doesn't matter. Like you traffic, Comanche 742 your pop, we're going to try to land on that uh, sidewalk of a runway you guys have. I will try not to go off the end, and I will try not to hit any of the fog that you guys keep as decor on the runway. And traffic inbound to Lakeview. What's the uh, condition of the runway down there? Uh, it's not too good. Actually, the only reason I'm going there is because I'm filming a documentary about the worst runways in Texas. All right, I appreciate it. Thank you. So that's the inbound radio call. The next radio call is what I call the disappointing downwind. This is when you're kind of committed and you're, you're going there and you're not super excited about it because you know what lies ahead. Um, it's a lot more of an emotional landing than a practical landing technique. Uh, so let me show you how this works. My huge traffic. Uh, seems I'm making poor choices today. Uh, so I've just entered uh, downwind for your runway down there or what could just be a, a bunch of rocks. I, I have no idea. Uh, but I'm, I'm downwind for whatever you guys have going on down there. Uh, but anyway, it looks like I'm, I'm inbound. Uh, Godspeed, me. Uh, thank you. So turning base, the radio call 
can be whatever you want. Semantics aren't important uh, when you're doing this maneuver. And there is one uh, radio call, it's called the unfortunate base to final. Um, at this point, you're pretty much committed. Uh, once you've made three radio calls and people have heard it, they're all now tuned in waiting for the mayday or uh, please send help or something. So at that point, once you're, once you're final, you're, you're, you're committed. Um, everything else just kind of looks like this. turn base, I'm starting to feel uh, feelings of disgust for myself and some apprehension about what I'm doing and what choices led up to this, uh, but I do feel committed, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. And Lakey traffic, Commission 2 your Papa is turning an unfortunate base to final for 1-8. We'll stop. Uh, this should probably be a go-around, but I'm not making good decisions today. Lakey traffic. The anxiety is definitely starting to build. I can feel my blood pressure rising. Uh, I'm getting a little more tense. I'm definitely sweating. Uh, this is more of an emotional landing scenario than a practical one. Normally when you're landing, you're thinking about airspeeds and where the wind's coming from and all that sort of stuff that goes into a landing. This one's purely emotional. It's a, a lot of sadness. Uh, it's a little bit of depression. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit angry, but I'm angry at me, and that's okay. One of the key takeaways here is you may not know that you've actually done this maneuver because you can grease a landing like that one I just did. And if you kick up this much crap, you've just done the shitty field landing. If you actually manage to survive this landing and get the plane down in one piece, there's only one thing left to do. Lakeview traffic, Commission 2 Zero Papa. I'm getting the hell out of here as fast as I possibly can. Uh, I hope I never have to come back. Lakeview. So after I departed Lakeview, the next place I wanted to go was Air Park Dallas. I think it's Foxtrot 69 and historically one of the most horrible runways in the area. Sorry, Wolf Pilot. I'm, I'm sure it's a lovely place. Air Park Dallas, Comanche 742 your Papa. I hate my life, so I'm uh, inbound. Full stop. Air Park. Air Park traffic, Comanche 2 your Papa's inbound for what uh, ideally would be a go around, but uh, turn it final for 18 or 16, whatever it is. You can't even read it. You don't know. I can feel the internal struggle building as I'm turning towards the airport. Airport. All of this to avoid paying the high ramp fees at Addison Airport. When at the end of the day I know I'm going to spend that money I save on new tires. But it is what it is. I've got my pride. Um, but I didn't get to do uh, my particular landing maneuver that I would planned for this video. Instead what I ended up doing was the surprise landing maneuver. Um, having been here several years ago, I expected giant chunks of the runway to be on the runway. Uh, but once I got there, it appeared somebody had cleaned it up, smoothed it out, and painted some new lines on it. So, um, you know, I went in preparing for the worst. It turned out to be a non-event. One thing I'll caution about this airport, though, you have to call Addison and get the ATIS. I think I said tower, you gotta get the ATIS. Then you gotta call regional approach at DFW, tell them you've got the weather at Addison, and then they're gonna transition you to Addison Tower, and Addison's gonna say, whatever you do, stay east of my center line. Uh, they repeat that a lot, and uh, they ask you when you have the airport in sight. Uh, historically, I've had to fly around the airport sometime between three and 50 times before I could find it, because it's uh, in the middle of a strip mall. Regional approach, runway 16 in use. All VFR arrivals at and contact regional approach on 124.25. For IFR clearance, our VFR flight following contact ground control on 121.6. All IFR prop departures advise tower you are IFR. 
Advisor to contact, you have information, Mike. Regional approach, Comanche 7420, Papa. Uh, go ahead. Uh, Comanche 7420, Papa is about 10 miles northwest of Addison Airport. I'm actually going into Fox 69, but I have information, Mike, at Addison. November 7420, Papa, Squawk 4657. 4657 for Comanche 7420, Papa. Right, number 7420, Papa, you're right of contact, about 15 north of Addison. Just uh, make the straight in uh, through the mirror navigation for air park. And uh, you said you'd have Mike, thanks. Straight in on navigation to air park, 7420, Papa. 420, Papa, contact Addison Tower, 126.0. 126.0, 7420, Papa. Addison Tower, Comanche 7420, Papa is inbound, Foxtrot 69 with information, Mike. Number 7420, Papa, Addison Tower, Ranger Report, Dallas Air Park, inside, Addison Altimeter 3023, winds Addison 110 at Niner. I'll report it inside, 3023, 7420, Papa. Seneca 20, Papa, remain east of my final at all times. Oh, is that Comanche 20, Papa? And a correction, Comanche 20, Papa, affirmative, remain east of my final at all times. East of your final at all times, sub 420, Papa. Number 20, Papa, they hired you as a Seneca. You're a PA24? Affirmative. Roger. Right. Sub 420, Papa, has air park in sight. Number 20, Papa, Roger. No traffic of service in the Dallas Air Park. Frequency change to advisory approve. Remain east of my final at all times. All right, we'll go change the frequency, sub 420, Papa. Country traffic, Resident Cap on Delta Delta Lima over 380 southbound over the three white tanks. And I'll be joining uh, left 45 downwind for 17. Full stop, America. And that's it. So there's another landing that they're not teaching you that you need to know how to do. Uh, I think by watching this video, uh, you've learned that. And uh, while legally I'm not an instructor, that's, 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 just, that's just I'm not an instructor for legal reasons, for all other intents and purposes. Um, you know, you can learn from me. I'm not saying I'm signing anything. You know, on camera, I'm not going to say that. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think, I think we all learned something today. So ask your instructor about this specific landing technique and have them walk you through it, because uh, it may come up one day. All right, thanks, guys. Uh, thanks for subscribing. Appreciate all your Patreon supporters. Uh, it means a lot to me. Thank you to Gold Seal uh, for sponsoring the videos. Um, you guys play smart, and I'll catch you in the next one. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.